Hey, how's it? My name is Chris. I'm the owner of Hawaii Photography Tour. Today I'm going to show you how to take two images, combine them in Photoshop to make an awesome panoramic image. It's going to be done using Lightroom, Photomatics, and Photoshop. Hope you enjoy the show. Check it out. This is where we're going to get right here. See that shot? This is taken from the top of Pillbox Hike on Oahu in Lanikai. If you ever want to go on the site, just let me know. But here we are. This is my friend Kevin. He's taking a beautiful shot of the sunrise. And I'm going to show you how to get this shot using this image right here and this image right here. Okay, so all I did was take two shots. This shot, my lens wasn't wide enough, so I had to do a, a second shot. And if you can see here, here's my tripod. See that little tripod? That's this tripod right here. So I just moved the, ca moved the camera over just a little bit and took that second shot where I was able to capture the sunrise. But that, that, this, this image doesn't do justice. This is what we want it to look like. It is so easy. Watch this. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this image over here with my friend Kevin, and we're gonna right click. We're gonna create virtual copy, and we're gonna do it again, right click. Create virtual copy, and we are also in the library module of Lightroom. First thing we're gonna do is we're on the third image here, okay? And we're gonna increase the stop two times. One, two. Okay, this is the exposure, I clicked it twice. All right, now we're gonna hit this middle shot right here, and we're gonna decrease it two times, right here, decrease. One, two. So we have three images, one normal shot, one dark shot, and one bright shot. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with that other shot that had the little tripod leg. We're gonna create a virtual copy. Boom, one more time, right click, create a virtual copy. There we go, we get those three shots. So now we're going to increase the exposure two times, one, two, and get that middle one, decrease two times, one, two, bright one, dark one, normal one. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to my friend Kevin, and we're going to hold down the control key, one, two, three. Take those three images, right click, export, photomatics. You don't need to check anything, make sure everything's unchecked except for this one will automatically re-import back into Lightroom that I highly suggest so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit export boom okay we're back so this window just popped up no worries just hit okay okay check it out my strength is at 90 color saturation 83 and so on what I suggest is you just hit pause, copy it, do what you gotta do, and get these settings if you like this the way it looks. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, and there's the rest of my settings. Okay, if you like the way it looks, which I do, look at it, it's, it's crazy. This is what it looked like, and this is what it looks like now. Boom. Okay, save and re import. Okay, we're back in Lightroom. There it is. This is what it is now. This is what it used to look like. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with those other three images. One, two, three, by holding the control button. Right click, export, Photomatix Pro. Nothing is checked except for re import into Lightroom and hit export. Alright, we're back. We get that window pop up again. No worries. Just hit OK. Okay, there it is. Don't touch the side. Don't make any adjustments, otherwise it'll throw off the coloring. Um, because it's already based off that other image and nothing gets changed. See right here, preset, previous session. That was the other picture with my friend Kevin. Okay, so now we're just gonna hit save and re-import. And in one second, it'll pop up here. Boom. There it is. So we got this image and this image. Okay, so take this image and this image hold down control have them both selected and right click edit in right here merge to panorama in photoshop and then this window pops up right here we have the layout i want you to click on auto if it's not already selected 
You have your two images that are coming from Lightroom, and we're going to hit OK. You know, it's going to run through some crazy, crazy Photoshop edits. Okay, so here we go. There it is right there. That's the shot we needed. Look at that. They blended it together. I don't see any issues with this picture, of course, except for this, this, this craziness. But as far as the merging portion, I'm pretty happy. So there we go. We have this picture that Photoshop has merged for us. And what is going on here is Photoshop made all these corrections and tried to do the adjustments and it came out pretty good. So what I want to do is crop all of this stuff out of here. So I selected crop and drag it down right to there, drag it to there, bring this in like that. Okay, hit enter. Boom. Now we should go over here and we're going to right click, flatten image. And I'm going to hit File, Save. Okay, now we're back into Lightroom. And this is what it gave us. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. Here's the shot of Kevin. Here's the sunrise. Here's the islands of Oahu. And this is just amazing. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you on the next show.